So my friends, this is the PIR, which stands for the Passive Infrared Sensor, and this is exactly the same one as you can see on the screen. So let's start with this variable resistor. This one is used for the sensitivity adjustment, and the left one is used for the timing on period delay adjustment. So you can simply increase and decrease the on period delay and you can also increase and decrease the sensitivity adjustment. So as over here you can see these pads labeled with L and H will actually these are used for the single cycle mode and for the retractable mode stay on while motion detected. Okay, and now this IC, now this IC which you can see is is uh, BISS0001 which is the signal processor. And over here you can see these are the pins, the leftmost is the 5 volt, metal one is the out and the rightmost is the ground. So over here you can also see this is the 5 to 20 volts and output TTL logic and this is the ground. So it doesn't matter whether you give 5 volts or 20 volt. It has a 3.3 volt voltage regulator. So it will convert that into 3.3 volts. Product parameters. Number 1, detection angle of 120 degrees. Number 2, detection range of 7 meters. And number three, its size is 32 into 24 millimeter. And number four, TTL switch, which is a transistor, transistor logic switch, signal output high, signal output 3.3 volt, and low signal output, which is 0.4 volts. It means when, when, when an animal or human is detected, so it will give us 3.3 volt at the output. And when there is nothing, it will give 0.4 volts. And number five, the trigger time is adjustable from 0.3 seconds to 10 minutes and number six commonly used in anti-theft devices and other equipments and number seven modules have been forced to set to work reusable trigger and my friends one more thing that I want to share with you actually over here you can see these two holes and the RT is written over there and there are two more, more holes and the R is written over there so this portion is for the LGR so if you want to use this for the LGR like for the night and day detections or like you want to make a decision on, 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 on LGR so then you can remove the PIR sensor and use an LGR over here. So my friends this is the basic circuit diagram which is uh, designed in Eagle 6.3.0 professional version and this is the best very basic circuit diagram and we'll use this to check uh, the PIR sensor and we'll write a very basic program for human detections so as you can see the ground pin of the PIR sensor is connected with the ground of the Arduino and the VCC of the PIR sensor is connected with the 5 volts of the Arduino and the out of the PIR sensor is connected with pin 2 of the Arduino if you want you can use any other pin as per requirements and uh, as I told you that on the VCC of the PIR sensor you can give voltage uh, which ranges from 5 volt to 20 volts so even if you want to power this up using external power supply you can easily do that all you need to do is just to uh, connect the ground of the external power supply with the ground of the Arduino and then you are ready to go so my friends as you can see the Arduino is connected with the laptop and the PIR sensor is connected with the Arduino as per the circuit diagram its out pin is connected with pin 2 of the Arduino and the VCC is connected with the 5 volt and the ground is connected with the ground so it means that we are now ready for the programming so now let's start with the pin declaration so integer PIR sensor which is connected with pin 2 of the Arduino so write 2 and you should also write comments in your program. It's really a good programming practice. So, like we, we can write away here, the PIR sensor is connected with pin two of the Arduino. Okay. And now, uh, we our aim is to uh, when it takes a human, 
it should turn on the pin number the LED which is on pin number 13 and uh, it should also send a message to the computer serial monitor so integer LED equals to 13 and now white setup this is a function and the white means that this function is not returning any value and the empty parentheses means that this function is not taking any arguments as the input so as we want to do serial communication so for that we will need to activate the serial uh, serial communication so serial dot begin 9600 so 9600 is the baud rate and now pin mode PAIR sensor and which is an input device and pin mode LED which is an output device so output and let's keep the LED in off state by default so digital write LED is low okay and now let's start with the white loop so let's use F condition F digital read PAR sensor equals equals high then what to do then first send a message to a serial monitor so serial serial dot print line uh, which is uh, human detected and then digital write LED high and let's give it a delay of 1000 milliseconds which is equal to one second now before we upload the program first of all let's check the error compile this and this is the PIR sensor so the S is missing sensor okay so let's compile this again so this is a very basic program just for checking the PR sensor and uh, so now we are ready now let's upload this so in this tutorial you will learn that how you can use PR sensor for human detection and how you can control an LD with it or so now let's open the serial monitor and now as you can see there is nobody in front of the PR sensor so it's not detecting anything it's not sending any message to a serial monitor so let me do some movement and as you can see so as I put my hand in front of the PR sensor so it started printing the human detected on the computer screen so now let me again do some motion one two three four five and as you can see so when it detects a human at least like it sends about five messages it remains active for five or six six seconds so as I explained that a uh, few minutes back that the, the sensitivity or the, the delay time can be controlled from 0.3 seconds to 10 minutes so that's why right now the very the the, the, the time adjustment of the PR sensors is now approximately set at five seconds so it remains the PIR output remains active for about five to six seconds as you can see like one two three four one two three four five so that's like in the range of uh, of uh, one to five four or six seconds so by changing this uh, variable register you can change the the, the time so i hope you like today's episode subscribe to my channel and uh, like this video share my videos you with your friends and see you in next episode thanks for watching and bye bye